Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Ghost Recon Wildlands trailer that was just released at Gamescom just the other day. And it details the new gunsmith system and the new character smith system that they're calling it. That's not really a word, but that is for Ghost Recon. And that is the ability to basically customize your character to however you want with different camouflages, different outfits, all sorts of different customization features. So in the background right now, this is actually the new trailer that just came out the other day. And it actually gives us our first look at some of the new cool outfits and how you're going to customize your gun in the new gunsmith. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the new character smith feature. Okay, so and in the main objective for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands um, development team was to recreate um, what it was like to be a special operations squad uh, behind enemy lines. Um, so basically you're not going to look like a military personnel, you're going to kind of look like more like a civilian to blend in with your surroundings. Or you can customize yourself to look like a full-on military. It is completely up to you, there are no restrictions on this, which makes it really, really cool. Um, you can basically you can to choose your gender. Like I said, I've talked about this in a previous video, but you get to choose your gender. There are confirmed women and men to choose from in this. Excuse me, in this uh, game, you can do the gender. You can do your hair, hat, uh, like the top, like basically your top, basically from your waist up to your neck. That is considered one item, so you can't do like undershirts and overshirts, kind of like you could in Tom Clancy's a Division. But uh, then you can do um, tattoos, you can do pants, and then you can do shoes. So you can customize your guy to have tattoos, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. And all together, there's over a billion combinations that makes it so that your ghost will be distinct to only you. And at the beginning of the game, you can choose from a, a really big variety of equipment, um, unlocking some as soon as you accomplish missions and stuff like that, and then you can access... Um, more and more items as the game progresses and also you can access character smith at any moment in the game and change to whatever outfit you want whenever you want on the fly um, once you've decided like your ghost actual physical appearance um, you can choose the gear that suits you best um, and all that you like I said you can make it look like you're a military person or you can make it look like you're a civilian or you can just you know be a straight up badass covered in tattoos you know with like a cut off shirt and stuff like that but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you can actually find really unique items, like gear pieces, out in the open world that will basically be only for you. Um, so basically you can get some really rare items out in the field, um, like exotic items is what I believe what they're calling them, that are going to be very rare and they're going to look absolutely epic. So be on the lookout for cool stuff like that. And also one a cool aspect in the game is if depending on what environment you're in, you can your clothes can get dirty like your clothes can get dirty dusty they'll get wet they can get muddy according to what you're doing in the game which is actually really cool and it'll really amp up that immersion um, with all the different things like that so uh, next thing we're going to be talking about is the new gunsmith feature in Ghost Recon Wildlands so we got to see our first version of this in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier, and it was actually a really cool thing that they brought to the game. It allowed you to break the weapon down into a bunch of different parts and change out all the parts individually to make your gun exactly how you want it. Um, there are a few differences in the gunsmith this year. Um, there's actually a couple attachments like your underbarrel attachment, I believe, your scope attachment and then like if your gun has a silencer or a muzzle brake that can be removed you can remove those and attach those on the fly in game by using the d-pad so you don't have to stop game go into the gunsmith take stuff off then come back you can actually just basically you uh you tap right on the d-pad and he'll take the silencer off of his gun right there on the fly so you can really change it up if you need to be suppressed or if you don't need to be suppressed you can really do it really quickly which is pretty pretty why do i say pretty pretty that's so lame um but it's pretty cool um, and what the cool thing with the new um, gunsmith feature, there's all sorts of different camos, there's so many different attachments, and the number of weapons that we get to use in this game is over 50 weapons, and they are fully customizable with camos and attachments, and it lets you play exactly how you want to play. You can basically make any gun combination, to, and basically it, cater, or it caters to how you play, and uh, that's what makes it very unique. I mean, you can play exactly how you want to play, your dude is going to look exactly how you want him to look. Your gun is going to be exactly how you want it. Um, and basically they broke it down into five, I believe, excuse me, six different classes of guns. You have assault rifles, sniper rifles, light machine guns, submachine guns, shotguns, and handguns. 
And they also say that exotic weapons are also available, but you do have to try to find them out in the open world. And it is a big open world, so finding exotic weapons is going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. Um, once you get into the gunsmith, it basically it allow you to... It, it's a similar breakdown system to Ghost Recon Future Soldier, but it's a lot more in-depth, and it's a lot easier to see, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, one of the most exciting new features of Gunsmith is the selection of attachments. And the game, it allows more than 100 attachments with scopes, magazines, stocks, barrels, and all sorts of other attachments that you can put on your gun. And uh, can it can really impact how you play the game because, you, like I said, you can customize your guns in so many different ways. And altogether, there's over 10,000 different combinations of attachments on each gun. So it's 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 epic. Honestly, the amount of content that they're putting in this game is uh, it's unbelievable. And uh, some attachments actually do add special modes to your weapons and can be activated on the go. Like I was talking about with uh, being able to take off the suppressor, you change your sniper scope, and stuff like that to adapt to the situation that you're in. So, that's pretty much a pretty detailed breakdown of the new character smith and the new gunsmith feature um, in the new Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. And uh, if you're not excited about this game, that's just, you're crazy. Um, the amount of detail that went into this game to make it as authentic as possible, to basically simulate a Ghost Recon um, special ops team being in this region, um, it's, they, went, they went over the top to get the details correct, get the guns right, get the camos and the, the character gear right. And uh, it's a tactical shooter. It's it's 100% a tactical shooter and an open world that is absolutely massive. And I cannot wait to play this game. So that's pretty much all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. It only takes a second. It really helps me out. I would appreciate it. And uh, also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Ghost Recon content in the near and upcoming future. But uh, for now, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you next time. Peace out.